Okay. Buffalo. Buffalo, 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 Buffalo. We still have an injury to Casper Halton, who was going to miss the start of this series. Um, I don't think I want Yessi Nurmi in the lineup. He wasn't exactly crushing it. We are going to go with Aku Ratu. And that way we have the Ratus on the same club ready to go because Inkanen can play the left wing. So let's get Aku in there. And Arturi Lekkanen is going to be switching sides. So Inkanen gets the bump up even though, yes, he is good at face-offs. The alternative is to bump up Inkanen way too far or to have him play third-line center. That might work. Nah, I think we got to go Inkanen, Ratu, Lekkanen. Ooh, that does not work center-wise like I thought it would. Okay. Pettinen, Aho, Varakas, Line, Ratu, Kako, Lundell, Inkanen, Lekkanen. That's, that's the way it's going. And then second power play, we'll put a uh, defenseman out there. Let's go with Anthony Honka. Temporarily, at least because of the injury. So for the most part, we're healthy. We have a great team on paper. It's just whether or not they'll actually do anything. I do not know if the AHL club has made the playoffs, the Tenta Skills. And the answer is yes, so I did not look. They won 54 games and host the Belleville Sens. Good to know. Buffalo won 14 more games than us in the regular season, and here is the roster for them that did it. Just, uh, just, 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 I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take, if I, if I can't see it, it can't hurt me. That's how it works, right? If I can't see this lineup, it can't possibly hurt me. So I'm just not going to look at the monitor. <sighs> Fuck. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. They won 57 games. Jesus. Dylan Cousins, Tage Thompson, Isaac Rosen, Jack Quinn, Cole Eiserman, and Peyton Krebs, J.J. Paterka, Claude Giroux, and Hudson Blacker. Olivier Nadeau with Ilya Nikolaev and Paul Cotter. Their defense. Have I seen a generated player that's dominated Sim like McDavid? Yes, actually, in a couple of series. Not in the NHL 23 so far, though. Let's check and remember somebody. You got Darlene and Power, Jack Matier. And Matthias, Matthias Samuelson. Nikita Zadorov with Cal Foot. So obviously that top pairing is a huge problem. And then goal, Tristan Jari and Aiden Hill. Bedard has 73 goals. Yeah, but he's not generated. You missed the key part of that question he asked, Lamp. Kashkovich, Camp, and Yuri Kulich. Actually a healthy scratch. Oh, boy. Well, let's uh, put this prediction live. We lost to Philadelphia last season in the playoffs. What will we do against Buffalo as an eight seed? It really is a great team that we've built in a lot of ways, but who knows what will happen. Our grades right now with the Halton and injury, 88, 85, and a 78. To Buffalo's 89-84, and I didn't see the goaltending. Uh, but obviously with Tristan Jari, they very much have the advantage. A lot of blue in this series. A whole lot of blue. It is game number one. Let's see how this goes. Optimism's at a low point. First period, 3-1 Sabres. <laughs> Cotter, Blacker, Iserman, Inkinen gets one. 12 shots to four. Two of those goals 
from downtown. Second period. We took the lead and then immediately gave up three more goals. Vasainen, Kako, Hamasalmi made a 4-3, and then Lukanen, who was in for Lankanen, gives up goals to Samuelson, Paterka, and Thompson. Ten goals on a combined 34 shots as we head to the third period. I have no idea who's starting game number two because both goalies have sucked. Jack Quinn scores from inside the goal as our power play expires. It's 7-4. Aku Ratu makes it 7-5 against Aiden Hill. Iserman makes it 8-5. And right at the start of this season, I said our offense is great, but our defense and goaltending could be concerning. Line A score is late. It's 8-6, the final score of game number one. Need save. Minus five for Varakis and Pettinen. Our top line was completely exposed. Game number one, by the way, for the AHL club, a 4-3 victory. We are still without Haltonen. Rasmus Korhanen gets the start in game two. And we're not going to play Halton in until he's fully healthy. <sighs> Petanen, Aho, Line, Varakis, Ratu. Kako is the game plan for the top six. Oh, it is game number two. We need a win here badly. Heading home for three and four. First period, 2-1. Darlene on the power play, but Kulanumi and Aho give us the lead after 20. Second period, make it 4-1. Atu Ratu and Kapo Kako. We have a three-goal lead heading into the third. Power play for Buffalo. Killed off. 11 minutes to go. Halfway through the period. Power play. Buffalo killed off again. Atomic. What is the reason? I saw the reason, but what is the reason? Kulanumi scores to make it 5-1. Atomic, my goodness. We haven't seen you in a little bit. I hope you have been well. We win this game 5-2. to two. I'm never awake for your streams. Miss watching collections. Time to have the Sabres jersey in the collection. I, might, oh, d I, I, don't need a, I don't need a new Sabres jersey. But you know what? Even for this playoff series, fun fact, I haven't worn this jersey yet. I haven't done it. And we're going to put it on for the very first time. In honor of you, Atomic, thank you very much for your kindness, your generosity, I, um, you know, I know that my streaming schedule is not perfect for everybody. Um, and I hate that. I mean, trust me, I wish I could clone myself to be able to stream fucking 24 hours a day and still be able to do other things. Oh, no, he's stripping. No, we're just keeping it a surprise for those who uh, haven't seen this yet. Oh, it feels. Oh, it's just it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, oh. Oh, this jersey. Oh, this, this beautiful jersey. I haven't worn it yet. I've been afraid to wear it because it feels like heaven. It feels like absolute heaven. Atomic, thank you very much for supporting my face. I appreciate it, especially with uh, an international trip coming up. A wedding at the end of the year. It is a, a lovely Darlene, by the way. Is this a reverse jinx? 
I mean, I'm not saying I'm trying. Oh my god, this fucking jersey is just sexual. I seriously haven't worn this yet. I haven't. Oh, just feels right. I've had this jersey for months. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't wear it. It's too nice. Which I, is not normally how I feel about jerseys, but just trying to make sure it's not folding up in the back because of the uh, fight strap. Whew. All right. Well, we did win game two, five to two. Rasmus Korhonen stops 31 of 33. <sighs> Throw whatever goalie out there. Someone will eventually make a stop. Great game for Capo Caco. A goal on two shots, three points on the night. And Korhonen does pretty damn well indeed. Get your jerseys now before Fanatics ruin them. I basically have... The only team I don't have a jersey for anymore is Chicago. So there you go. Break. Go ahead. I'm waiting for it when this ends up on YouTube. Let's hear the snowflake comments. You're like 15 fucking episodes into this. Let's hear the snowflake comments. Ready for that. <laughs> Glava, six months on the primer. Thank you. It's been a while since I've seen you as well. I hope you've been good. I'm fucking ready for it. Break out the break out the woke snowflake. Break out the glasses. Break out the chin. Fucking balding back here too, man. Trying to hide it, but it's not working too well. I'm going to be a bald man soon. Honestly, genuinely, I'm thinking age 29 is my last year with hair. I'm, I'm genuinely considering 30th birthday and just being done with it. I'm thinking that's the time. Goalie's captain. It shows everyone with captaincy when you load in. Corhanen, you have earned the starter mask. You have. Glove all good. I understand it. I am I'm doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. Uh we have tried to do team color before. Yeah, it, it's just it doesn't work. Whatever. He's got the mask. That's the most important thing, Rasmus. Can you just become Walter White 24? I don't plan on selling drugs. Thank you. Glad they brought the goat back. Hopefully, uh, next year we make the playoffs. Has it been going good though? Been through a lot. Hey. Atomic again. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate the hell out of you. And again, Sabres regular look is great. You can't top this. You cannot top this. Once the wedding's done, bye-bye hair. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe I'll fucking shave it for the wedding. You know what I'll... Mm, you know, I mean, I, I still gotta go get fitted for a tux. Maybe I'll shave my head to see how I look bald. With the tux. And then if it's not good, I'll still have enough time to grow some hair back before the wedding. Big fucking brain, chat. Big brain. Anyway, uh, Inkinen, you have actually not been that bad. But you have not been good enough to not have Casper Halton and step in for you. And given that we won the last game, we are going to leave those lines exactly the same. Exactly the same. Let's just make sure, yeah, that Rasmus is going to be the guy for game three. Yeah, Casada rotates on. Uh, AHL club, by the way, up 2 nothing over the Belleville Sens. We go to game number three in this series. I mean, muted, yeah. <laughs> First period on home ice and a 1-1 split. Blacker and Ajo with six seconds left. Stealthy, stealthy goal. Florida Panthers-esque gets us back. Second period. Ooh. Claude Giroux. So we trail. Heading into the third period. Down by one. Come on, boys. We got way too much offensive firepower. To not be able to put pucks past Tristan Jari. All that power play time. Nothing doing. It's late. Iserman makes it 3-1. Tristan Jari stonewalls us. And the Sabres win game three, three to one. Fuck. We have too strong of an offense to get shut down like that. 30 of 31 for Tristan Jari. corhanen has been phenomenal. He really has been. He really, really has been. We'll go, whoops, to the menu, apparently. We'll go to game number four. AHL Club up 3-0 in the series. The Tenta Skills pushing the Belleville Sens 
to the brink. Korhanen's in. Defensively, four points minus one for Kivy. Four points minus one for Hanela. Okay, that side stays the same. Cool Numi, two points plus two. One point minus three. We got a shelter, Hamasami. So we'll get Kibi Hari, Kulanumi, Haina Lahanka, Lindell, Hamasami. Forward wise, fourth line's been okay. I mean, like Miko Matika doesn't have any points, but it's okay. He at least hasn't been shit. Just go out there, be serviceable until a top line's ready to go. One point minus one for Lekkonen, minus one for Haltonen, minus one for Lindell, but he does have three points. Honestly, three games into the series, I want to make sure that the best players who have been the best out of this top nine are in the position to get the chance to win it here. So we are going to take a look at the, uh, the general kind of numbers here. And see who, in fact, has been the best. What a series so far for Capo Caco. What a damn series. You have Ratu looking all right. Billy Varakis has been terrible. His first playoff series with us so far. He's the worst forward we've looked at. Line A not looking that bad. Aho hasn't been great. And Pettinen has been our worst forward. So the young guys, the, the core players we're trying to build around. I mean, a lot of it is still off the back of that one game, the first game where they were minus fives. But two games later, they haven't really improved. So we're going to have Pettinen, Varakis, and Kasper Haltonen as the third line. The younger guys... We'll run Aho on the second line with Lekkonen and Lundell. And it'll be line A, Ratu, Kako as the top line. So we'll try to adjust on the fly here. Game number four. And the reason why we're adjusting, it's pretty much a must win. If we fall down 3-1 to the Sabres, that's it. It's game over. It's series over. First period, 1-1. Aho again. Paterka. The Petrica gets one back. We outshot him 13 to 8. Second period, 2-2. Two, two. Tage Thompson and Atu Ratu. It's close. Dead even in shots. Dead even on the scoreboard. Maybe I shouldn't have put this jersey on, huh? Blacker makes it 3-2. Halfway through the period. Do we have a late goal to try and stay alive in this series? <sighs> it's, it's coming off. <laughs> it's bad luck. It's coming off. Sorry. <laughs> I care more about winning right now. We are down 3-1 to one in this series. Losing both games on home ice, which is tragic. Absolutely tragic. Whew. I love this jersey with all my heart. It might be the favorite of my collection. That's not true. It's my Ray Bork Avs jersey. But uh, beautiful. Perfect landing. Uh, yeah, we're boned. We're boned. We don't have the gold tending that we need. Uh, a lot of our high firepower guys are not scoring. Shout out to the back pillow, by the way. The key to success. Shout out to Baby Zaddy as well in chat. Um, we just have too many players who are underperforming. Bottom line. And that was the first real bad series, or bad game of the series for Rasmus Korhanen. As the Attenta skills have swept the Belleville Sens. But, Yeah. Don't like seeing you get boned. Then do not subscribe to the OnlyFans. Uh, Rasmus, you're the guy. You're the guy here. And uh, let's do it. Let's do it. It's game five. We at least avoid the sweep. But aside from that, 
It's looking like the series is going to end in Buffalo. First period, 1-0 Sabres. Olivier Nadeau. Second period, 1-1 one, one, Patrick Line. Thank you, Patrick, for trying. Damn it. And early in the third period, Vili Varakis, his first playoff goal as a member of this club. I'm sure he had a few for Vegas last year in their cup run. Sebastian Ajo makes it 3-1. to one. Can we hold on, though? There's still a lot of time left. And game five goes to the Finns. 3-1 the final score. Korhonen, 30 saves. How much are we going to have to pay Varakis after this year? A lot. But he's an RFA. And technically, if he gets off or sheeted, we could turn two firsts, a second, and a third into four firsts. So we're good no matter what. We go to game number six. Again, remember when the, the big brain thing earlier? Got to make sure the Korhanen's in. He's our guy. He's our guy. There's an excellent chance that Buffalo scores 12 in the first period of this game. You're not wrong. Game number six on home ice, where we have not won in this series. First period. Okay. 11 shots to 3, by the way. Second period, 1-1. One, one. Vili Hanela and Tage Thompson. Okay. All right. 20 minutes left. That's all we're guaranteed. Power play for the Finns goes to waste. Rasmus Dahlin scores. Not looking good. It's not looking good. Samuelson scores as I was going to pause to jump in. I don't need to see the handshake line. The Sabres win in six games. 32 shots to 18, but we lose 3-1. As the Finns are eliminated in round number one. Fuck. Yeah. Our biggest issue right now is I don't know if there is a a clear cut answer in terms of what we do next. Who stays, who goes, that type of thing. I think we have such a young team. And a limited player pool that we can't afford to be overly reactionary. Um, damn. Yeah, Petri Petten in no points, minus four in the series. Complete no show. Ghosted it. Lekkonen was rough. Halton was rough. A lot of key players just did not do enough. It didn't. Hanela and Kivihari were both minus players. Yeah. Damn it. And then goalie wise, Korhanen with the 9 13. Sadie, I'm sorry. I mean, hey, if you want to try to avoid Pete Davidson, I think you got to move to like Botswana or something. I don't think you're avoiding him otherwise. Whew. God, yeah, how'd you end up setting up the 48 team league? Uh, by going to custom league? <laughs> All right. Well, for the moment, we can still follow our AHL club, the Tempera Tenta Skills. I'm not going to bother sending anybody down. We'll just leave it as is because they were flying in round one. They take on the Rochester Americans and lose their first game. But the rosters from the WHL thing download the roster sub out the NHL teams for those custom teams. 2-2 two, two split in the series so far. Down 3-2 in the series. And forcing a game 7. Tenta skills out in the second round.
I think that's the second year in a row they got knocked out in the second round after winning the Calder Cup. That is disappointing. Wow. That is very disappointing, actually. A lot of potential wasted at both the NHL and the AHL level. Sadie, thank you for the three months as the Florida Panthers uh, win the Stanley Cup a year after losing to Vegas. The Florida Panthers get it done. But yeah, if we're not going to win a Stanley Cup, man, a Calder Cup would have been nice. As Florida sweeps Winnipeg in the final. Vegas didn't even make the playoffs this year. AHL-wise, Grand Rapids wins it over the Springfield Thunderbirds, who beat Rochester in seven. Uh, what do the Panthers look like? I mean, we know they don't have Lundell anymore, but they obviously have Sasha Barkoff. Yep, they do. And Matthew Kachuk is still there. Oh, and not to mention a player who failed for us, Joachim Kamel. And Robbie Arventi. They kept the guy and Oliver Kapanen. Three members of that roster that we traded to them for Anton Lindell. I am the best, the best at building up other teams. Fuck. In terms of the awards, there's yet to be a dynasty to really break through. Uh, Jason Robertson wins the Art Ross Trophy. As well as the Hart Trophy. P.O. Joseph, your defenseman of the year. Robertson wins the Bing. Denisoff did win the Calder over Quentin Musty because of plus minus. Barkoff wins the Con Smythe. Hellebuck the Vezina. Logan Cooley wins the Selkie. Robertson with the Ted Lindsay and the Rocket Richard. What is it? Connor Bedard. AHL-wise, I think that's Julian Lutz, most points, league MVP, generated guy named Redden with the most goals, generated Connor Timmons was top defenseman, best goaltender, Logan Thompson, MVP of the playoffs, a generated dude named Nicolition. So 2027-28 comes to a close for us. We make the playoffs as the eighth seed, but lose in the sixth round. We... Don't see much development at all. Pettinen, Varakis. There was a little bit, but not a ton. Matheson's not even a guy that we're worried about. Boy, there was a uh, real lack of player development. That Oh, man. <sighs> I'm not going to call this season an outright disaster. But it's pretty close. Mika Arenas in the draft, three years out. Not worth trading up for, even with the abilities. But we do know that Tuomo Tukio, out of Tampara, is worth getting. So we got to find a way to trade up into the top ten. That's a player that we need. And then Raimo Hatanen. Also probably worth a shot. He's a risk, man. He's a risk, though. If he was a medium four, that would be a disaster of a trade. Kai Ristolainen. Also worth getting. So there are some defensemen that are worth getting. 100%. 100% in that first round. And Arenas, not so much. There's Tommy Haken. Later on in the draft. Good puck skills. Could be worth it. A low elite Joachim Pakarainen out of Lexons. All right, this is looking like a half decent draft here, then. At least in terms of at least having a few options. Only Matanen was there last year. Um, again, we know Renas won't happen. And that's just SHL. What about Liga? All right, Liga is still pretty barren. There is UC Hutala. The Hutala, who is available. But outside of that, all right, Major, I got two episodes to go. But, yeah, I, dude, they could have the worst ending of all time, and I wouldn't even care. <laughs> Six players worth targeting in the upcoming draft. Three of them first-round projections. 
I don't know what the hell we're going to do about that. What year is it? 2028. <sighs> What's our off-season situation with contracts as well? Hey, Nelissa, you... Oh, fuck. Fuck. Hey, Nelissa, Kako, our UFAs. Kivi, how are you? Varakis, Halton, and our RFAs. And right now, Hanala wants $14 million a season. Capo Caco wants eight. I'm going to go slam that window shut over there for no reason whatsoever.